So now your product has been implemented and you've tested it internally. Uh, you've you've uh, been working most likely with, with other partners. If you're doing a host controller, there's going to be various uh, devices that you're going to be working with to check stuff out. One of the things that makes uh, UFS uh, unique in the memory industry, uh, and, and it's really required because of the, the high performance and reliability goals for UFS, uh, is that it go through the same kind of compliance certification process that is used for other commodity uh, high-speed buses such as USB, uh, serial ATA, PCI Express, and so on. And so one of the main functions of the Universal Flash Storage Association, uh, or UFSA, is to manage this uh, compliance certification process and also link that to the uh, a logo program which allows you to then market your product as uh, UFS compliant. And, and really the core of this process is to use independent third party uh, validation houses. There's a variety of companies that are in the business of doing independent third party testing. Uh, they will use the test procedures, the step-by-step -step procedures that are developed within uh, MIPI and JEDEC, uh, along with the complete compliance test matrix uh, and the ecosystem that the UFSA is developing uh, in order to do a thorough compliance test of a UFS host or device and issue a certificate of compliance. So the way this process works in generally is, is that JEDEC uh, and MIPI develop the test procedures, the actual technical step-by-step -step procedures in a, in a vendor neutral manner. The UFSA then examines these procedures uh, and, and puts together a compliance test uh, matrix along with a set of processes and, and infrastructure to support things like uh, plug fests uh, to provide uh, instructions to the test houses so that they know uh, exactly what's required for logo certification uh, and, and what isn't. Anyone who is adopter level member of the UFSA is eligible to submit an application to the UFSA for a logo license. In fact, anyone, you don't have to be a UFSA member in order to bring a product to a test house and get a compliance certificate. Uh, however, the UFSA will, will only accept requests for a logo license from UFSA members, adopter level members. So once that license is granted, then of course you would have the right to, to place the UFS logo on either the data sheet, which would be typical for an embedded device, uh, or place it on the, the overall product indicating that, that UFS uh, is being used in a compliant manner.